I'd like to take a journey through chapter 9 of the Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 9, in verses 1 to 8, starts out with the story of the healing of a paralytic. A very interesting story here. Now, Jesus gets into a boat, uh, and he made the crossing, and he came into his own town. Uh, his own town, the references to Capernaum, which... Uh, of course, Nazareth was his original town where he grew up. We see a lot of the ministry of Jesus taking place in and around Capernaum. So uh, Matthew considers that, in, in a way, his home because he spent so much time there and did a lot of teaching and, and preaching and healing in Capernaum. Uh, and there people brought him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. So people come, and they bring this person who is paralyzed, uh, so badly paralyzed that he's lying on a stretcher. Uh, and Jesus is moved by this sight. I guess seeing so many people carry him to come on the stretcher. <laughs> and Jesus realizes, wow, they really have to have a lot of faith if they're making this journey uh, to bring this person who is ill, who is paralyzed to me. That's really a sign of, of their faith. So Jesus is very moved by their faith. Uh, and he says to the man who is paralyzed, he, he encourages him uh, to be a person of courage as he's facing this difficulty. So he says, have courage. And then he says, child. So Jesus really shows a lot of affection for this person. Using that term child, a term of endearment, there's a relationship. It's like you are my child. I am your father. I, I feel this bond with you. In fact, that you're suffering, you're paralyzed, and yet you have these friends who brought you to me. And then Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. So we notice that Jesus isn't healing him from the paralysis. He's really talking about forgiving him of his sins. So perhaps Jesus knows something here uh, that we don't know about this man's sinfulness. But Jesus indicates that the sins will be forgiven. Uh, interesting that this brings out the relationship uh, between sickness uh, and forgiveness. Uh, and, and really, the whole idea of sometimes our, our sinfulness can impede our healing. We, we feel badly about some issue, uh, and uh, it can affect our health. Sometimes there's a lack of sleep, a lack of eating. Uh, good nutritious food that, that, that really comes into play here because of something that we're feeling, some sinfulness, some thing that we've done that's upsetting us. Uh, so it affects not only our uh, mental well-being, but even physically it can affect us. And really, this brings out the importance of the community. Uh, and the community here is represented in those who bring this man to Jesus. So even though this person is having difficulties and he's paralyzed, he is not alone. Others help him when they reach out to him. And of course, how important that is for our own healing that people care about us, or people help us, people reach out to us. And this seems to be what's happening here in the story. Uh, Jesus saw not the faith of the paralyzed person, but Jesus saw their faith. So Jesus is observing that this faith is very strong in many of the individuals who are bringing this man uh, to him. Uh, faith in Jesus is really uh, an implicit confession of sin and repentance. Because when you put your faith in Jesus, when you're coming to Jesus with that sense of trust in him, 
then you're trying to leave behind you any bad actions, uh, any evil that you might be thinking of doing or have done. Uh, you're trying to say, no, I don't want to take that path. I want to take the path of giving my life to Jesus. And that's what seems to be happening here with, with these uh, people who are bringing this uh, man to Jesus. It's their faith that is so impressive. The afflictions of the human condition are many times a consequence of sin. Uh, we see that, that, that when people steal and cheat and lie, uh, this can cause a lot of afflictions. It can cause a lot of damage to people, uh, damage to the reputations of other people, uh, damage to your own self. Uh, when you tell a lie and you're worried, well, will I be find out about, about my lie? And how do I deal with this? Uh, the, the focus then becomes on yourself and it can weaken you. And that seems to be the reality here that this person has maybe been grappling with something within himself and it's causing uh, a certain type of paralysis. We have a physical paralysis, but there's also a spiritual, emotional paralysis that can happen as well. Forgiveness of sin, what Jesus is offering, really removes the root of evil. Because when that sin is forgiven, it no longer becomes a burden on you. You feel free, you feel released from the worry about what you have done. You realize, yes, I have done something wrong. I, I want to repent of that. I want to change my life. And I am receiving the forgiveness of Jesus to help me to change my life and to become stronger in my life, uh, to take a new path, to have a conversion. Uh, the miracle really shows us the saving process that is initiated in Jesus. So this is really a miracle about salvation. Because what Jesus is offering this man is this path of forgiveness. And what Jesus has come to, to preach and his good news is that uh, we can be forgiven. That God is loving and caring and wants to forgive us. And Jesus is offering us his life completely to give us this gift, this great gift of forgiveness. So we will no longer beat ourselves up or think that we're so terrible because Jesus shows us another way, another path, the path of forgiveness where we can turn from sin turn from selfishness, turn from pride, leave that behind. Say, I, I don't want to go that route anymore. Uh, I want to think more of others. I want to be a more caring person. I want to build up my community. I don't want to think about all of my own issues, but I want to give to other people. Uh, and so we become less selfish and we embrace this path of goodness that Jesus offers to us. And that is really what we call the road to salvation. Uh, that's what Jesus came to offer us. He came to offer us good news. He came to offer us health. Uh, he came to offer us a sense of hope, of new possibilities. And so when Jesus says, your sins are forgiven, what he's really saying to this person is, you are on a new path. And the paralysis that you had that's not going to be an issue anymore. You are on a path of forgiveness, a path of wholeness. You are on a path of embracing a whole new reality, the reality of being forgiven. And then when you are forgiven, the ability that you then have to bring forgiveness to other people. And so this story of the healing of a paralytic really leads us down this path of salvation that Jesus is going to be offering to all of us. And salvation is an amazing gift that Jesus is going to speak about more and more in the Gospel of Matthew.
this first story of this healing of the paralytic gives us a clue of that path of salvation. <laughs>